Whoa. Uh, uh, something changed here. Why are they able to walk up on my sidewalk? Got two more holes here. And I've got supplies. These guys are all potato farmers. So I just made a little bit of a mistake on my original design and I'm gonna have to redo a little bit here. I don't think it's a big deal, but there we go. That's at the right height. All right, so we can see things taking shape here a little bit. Uh, so I've got a solid layer of blo bricks, blocks, just whatever blocks, except for where the uh, hoppers go through to feed out into the item elevator. I've got another layer that's bricks and then hoppers feeding down into the chain that will sit underneath where the... Um, um, uh, the the blocks that the villager will not be able to plant and then so I've got sea lanterns here and I believe they go in on this level plop and so I can get rid of these torches and I believe I have just enough I believe I counted correctly and I have um, yeah, I have plenty of stone bricks in the shulker boxes for my build. Blop, blop. This is it was just the ladder. And then I put these in here. Blop, blop. And then I'm going to put in blocks here. But I also have to put in, and I'll take these out. Um, I have to put something back behind here, and what I'm planning on using is glass. Oh, did I make more sea lanterns than I... No, 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 I've, I've got just enough. So this glass goes there, because there's going to be water in here. So, let me get rid of the rest of these torches. And I'm only putting torches in this center which I removed um, to keep stuff from spawning in the event that I have to I have to walk away because I don't want stuff can spawn on top of these hoppers and I don't want that but it is now time to start now it's time to lay in the dirt and I'll delay it in around the sea lanterns Plop, like that And then the sea lanterns on top of that is where I need water. So when I get them surrounded, I'll fill in water. Okay, let me take care of this. And then we will see the progress there. I don't know if you can hear that. Bowser wants to say hi. Hi, buddy. He desperately wants to get on my lap, but of course he can't. Um, okay, so this is the basic layout. Um, I haven't filled in these yet because we have to do something funky there. But, uh, and then these will allow me to sort of look through. The, the glass here will allow me to look through and, and peer into the farm if I need to. Um, putting sea lanterns underneath the ice will melt the ice eventually. So I have all that. I do, I should have some carpet here exactly enough carpet and I brought more dirt than I needed that's okay no big deal and on oops on these ones that have already melted I can place the carpet in so that the villagers will not be able to fall into it and I won't be able to fall into it um, and then here we can place it against the torch and of course the the water will be there to keep the crops hide the farmland hydrated um, and make things grow faster um, so uh, although stuff will be planted enough that uh, technically you don't need the water um, having the water there having the the farmland be hydrated 
is a good thing because uh, it will speed up the rate at which things grow. Cool. So I need to plan. I need to put glass in here. And then I can put I can put the carpet there, and we can just break this, melt it, and break this. There we go. So now, when we're ready to, I can till all this and plant uh, plant uh, potatoes. Potatoes are the plan for this farm. All right, but in the meantime, I have to get hyper minecart sort of embedded in the embedded in the dirt here, and um, yeah, and this is a little bit of work. So. Uh, I did not, I need four hopper minecarts. I needed a, a bunch of them overall. So I did not craft all of the hopper minecarts. Uh, I only need three here, right? So if I do this, I get three. Bloop. And I can put the rest of this iron back in there. And I have hoppers. So I can turn those three into hopper minecarts, and then we've got some work to do. Hi, Bowser. Oh, he really wants to come up on my lap. <clears throat> but he's kind of in the way if he is. So just sit down there, dude. I should put a little pillow or something. Okay, so this will take a little bit of playing around, but if I, I can do this, put this there. So I got one hopper minecart, Two hopper minecart, three hopper minecart. These hoppers I can put away. I know I have excess hoppers, and it's totally fine. Uh, and then this is miscellaneous. Anyway, this, the rest of the stuff I need for other things. Hi, Bowser. Um, yeah, this should this should work. Okay, so now if I place a rail on top of this. And then place the hopper minecart on top of it, and then dig down and target the track. Okay, and then the minecart sits in like that. Now I have to be super careful not to disturb things. Uh, and I want to get the other three in there as well. And I find, whoops, you have to do them one at a time. So, blop, blop, blop. And this is direction sensitive. Oh, this might work. This might work. Let's see. Can I place the last track down here? Place the card here. And there's probably a way of doing this more effectively or more efficiently. Ah, you can hear the minecarts rolling. Hi, Bowser. Um, can I get down here? See, uh, what I'm trying to do is hit the, the track and just break it. Okay, so now let's uh, do that. Let's place the dirt in. Ah, yes, got it. Okay, so now what I need to do... Sure, that will work. So now what I need to do is I need to place, I need to push this dirt down into the, the mine carts so that they're embedded in there. And I only need three of them. So I've got pistons here and I can do it like this. Plop and plop and plop. And then block of redstone I can do this and get well, two of them get the other one there so now all right so now that pushed down one if I just put more blocks in here and go do the same thing now I'm there so this block, this block, none of this matters. Uh, 
Okay, I did not pick up that third piston, which means it got picked up. Oh no, actually. Okay, cool. So we can actually test. I can show you here. If I go throw stuff here, the minecart, the hopper minecarts pick them up through it. Basically, they're they're falling on top of the hyper minecarts, and they go through and they get picked up over here super quickly. That's what we want. Oh, I got redstone there. And oh, stuff fell through in there. So now I need to ah. Uh, Ah, 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 I need to get out of here. Okay, so this is not a problem, although I should plan on this for the future. Um, being able to, I need to bring some, I need to grab some of the ladders that I have up here. Ladders. And I'm pulling from the side wall over there. And I'm going to put the ladders on the wall here. <laughs> Yeah, I'll put one there anyway. Cool. So now I can get out. And this is a temporary thing. And pick up my blocks. Okay. So now I need to extend the wall, this wall up one more. Because I don't need the villagers that I bring in to be able to get out. Let me do that. And I need to relocate this stuff. And then... We will work on how to get the villager inside the farm. So one last thing I have to do here is I need a dot of redstone dust to sit on top of this observer. And that's what actually does the block updates. All right. So now, and then I have, ow, wow. Sorry, buddy. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Bowser's sitting on my feet desperately trying to get up on my lap. And he just pawed me in uh, my knee, which I, had, I took a little fall uh, yesterday. No, Friday night. Um, I, it's kind of embarrassing. I stumble, I tumbled down the back steps of the house. Not, it's only a few steps. And I, and I was already part way down and I kind of, I, I don't know, I guess I forgot how many steps were there. It was not, uh, it was not good. Uh, I skinned my knee up pretty badly, so I'm trying to keep it clean and bandaging at night. Um, and Bowser just kind of, uh, he, uh, he paused as a way of asking for things. <laughs> It's his way of saying please. So he, he pawed me, basically saying, please pick me up. Um, and he, he pawed me right on, right on the knee, which is still kind of, kind of tender. Uh, so anyway. So I have to till all these and then I have to go plant, plant the crops. Um, let me show you, I'm not going to plant all the crops just yet, uh, because, there we go. So you can see how the, the, the soil is all hydrating from the water. The light is going to keep it going. And then I've got potatoes in here. Do I have another ladder? Uh-oh. I need to be able to get out of here, but... Um, yeah, how do we get out of here? I can get out of here just by doing this. Uh, for now. But I should have... Take these out. Let me plant these on the wall. I'm short one ladder. <laughs> okay. That's a fine. I don't need this guy right now. But I do need to be able to get out of here. When I need to. And then we can. Uh, plant the glass. Okay. Very good. So now. If 
I grab potatoes, let's grab some potatoes. So on these blocks, the light level is such that I can plant things and they will grow. These blocks, I can't. And that will frustrate the villager to no end. Now when I get these all planted, you'll see that the stuff right around here, because it's a low light level, these are like light level eight, they won't grow super fast, but they will grow. The stuff that's out here next to the lights will grow much faster. So we can go ahead and do that. So when I plant all these, and I may as well, may as well plant them now, or at least, yeah, may as well plant them now. I'll have to replant off to, I may have to retill and replant some of this when I get the villager in, but no big deal. Um, so what will happen is he will, he has a pocket full of potatoes as it is. It's not full of potatoes, but he's got potatoes in his pocket. Um, and when he comes in here, when he sees the grown potatoes, he will harvest them. He'll go pick them. And then he will go and look for empty spots, you know, tilled, empty tilled farmland in order to plant the potatoes that he has in his inventory. And he will see these and he'll go, oh, and he'll sit here and he'll plant and he'll plant and he'll, and he'll just keep trying to plant. Eventually he'll give up, um, either partly because he runs out of potatoes or he, he gets distracted by something else. It is somewhat random um, what he, his behavior, although he has sort of weighted things, he really wants to be able to plant potatoes. And he'll try to plant them here, uh, and he won't be able to. Well, he'll be able to long enough. So if I come here, I can't. I can't plant, but he will come up and he will plant, and they will go in the ground for just a tick. This will then update them, and the game will say, "Oh wait, you can't do that," and it will. It'll pop it right off, and it will go inside here. It'll get picked up the minecart by the minecart thing, and it will come over here, and get funneled into the hopper or whatever said device that I have in here to to do it. So now the next challenge is how do we get the villager in here? Oh, but before I talk about that, the I did mention that I've mentioned that you could make this more efficient and the way to do that in a lot of ways would be um I could get one layer one layer shallower between uh, between the layers that I'm going to build. Instead of having full blocks of water, you could put a stair in here and then put water in and make it a waterlogged stair. It's not going to flow down to the layer below, which is important, but it will hydrate the it will <clears throat> pardon me hydrate the soil. And that's the important thing. Um, the other thing is I don't need to keep these lit. If I do, they won't work if I, uh, but they are light level seven, even though if I turn on F3 now, it's going to tell me it's light level like zero because it's tilled farmland. It's not, it's not a full block height. As a result, nothing can spawn on these. Nothing can spawn on farmland. So, so we're safe. I don't have to worry about things spawning in here. So I'm going to, let's go get a villager. And get him in here. Huh. Who wants to be first? Huh. All right. So this is now the genius of leaving these guys in the boats. I'm turn on F3B so I can actually get into the boat without hurting anybody. And we're going to go for a little ride. <laughs> I love that you can do this. Um... And we are going to go over, and I believe this will work. I might trample a few crops, but that's okay. I've got spare potatoes. I believe this still works. If not, we're gonna we may die, and then I'll we'll have to figure out a different way. Um, 
I just don't want to have to go to the trouble of setting up rails and all that nonsense. So, especially since they're already in the boats. Ready? Let's do this in F5. It worked! Huh. Get out of the boat. And let me break the boat. Hi, buddy. You just, uh... You just trampled some farmland. But I know you didn't mean to. You were flung out of a boat. There we go. Are you going to plant it? You have potatoes, right? Huh. Oh, let me get you off of the carpet. They don't behave right when they're on the carpet. Huh. Okay, he's wandering about. I'm going to plant potatoes in there. And watch. <gasps> okay, it didn't pop off. I think the these other two will. That one will pop off, but... Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's watch him from behind the glass. Okay, dude. You know what you want to do. Yeah, that's right. He, you know what? He may not have that many potatoes in his pocket. He has some, right? He planted that one. I'm going to put in a little platform here. All right. There. Okay. I don't know why he's looking at me. He can't see me, I don't think. Huh. Oops. Huh. Okay, this might take a little bit. I'm going to build up the wall around a bit. And wait for the potatoes to do their thing. And when he starts farming, which he should. I mean, he's a brown coat. He's an actual farmer, too. Okay, okay, dude. So I'm going to start working on the next layer. Um, and when he starts behaving the way I expect him to, we will take a look. <gasps> look at that. He is farming. He just tried to plant a crop there, and it didn't work. Look at that. This is exactly what we expect to see. All right. It'll take some, some time for him to come up to speed. But look, I have four potatoes already. Super exciting. Oops, not there. Yeah, I think he doesn't have a lot of potatoes in his pocket. That's okay. He will get there because he's in a field of potatoes. All right. Okay. Uh, I think I've been recording long enough. Um, we will put my heads up back on. We will. Oops. Um. Hmm. Oh, shoot. I'm doing all kinds of damage here. Okay. I'm going to fix this up. We will plant the potatoes and I will get out of here. And we will make it all work. Cool. All right. Um, thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. All right. Bye.